to Working Horses with Jim. Um, I'm Abby, Jim's daughter. And I'm Brenda, Jim's wife. Um, today we are going to be hitching up the Percheron team to the scoot. And that's not something that we usually do very often slash ever. So dad is going to be um, walking us through it. And so you guys can all see how you properly, hopefully um, hitch up a team of horses to a scoot. Oh. Okay, so the scoot is over here. I want you to go between the scoot and the blue bales. Drive between them? Go yeah. from here. That way, because Ken is more used to, he steps over the pole so nicely. So you go over there and then you just turn him right over the pole. Yeah. Step. Do that, I need to. Oh. Okay, and here's mine back on those pipes. And then come it's neck yoke. Neck yoke always goes up first. Inside or outside matter? Outside, start with, then go to the inside. When you're unhitching them, it's different. Go ahead, Abby, grab the other side. Pick it right up. Doesn't matter which side, inside or outside for you. Closer. Okay, so when there's two people here and you're inexperienced, you need to have one person stay at the front and one person goes to the back to hitch up the evener. So, Brenda, why don't you stay here? I know these horses, so what might push most stuff to happen is Buck will, st will step ahead a foot or two. So, if you stand right in front of Buck to make sure he doesn't move ahead, that works best. So, Abby, you come around, and I generally come around on Ken's side. This isn't crucial, but that's generally what I do on, on this side. So, now, you climb in there and grab the tug from... Ten first. Always the inside one. Pull it back. Make sure it's straight so the hook is pointing upward. Okay. Yep. Now go down and hitch onto your first link. And now go to your fifth link. So it's always from the back. When I talk to the, the link, I'm always talking from the back. So we're counting that one. one so we got two, two four, three, five. four, five. That's an odd one. So that means you need to tip this so it's pointing out. The odd one stays like that. Okay. But that goes like that. So this this has to slide down there. Perfect. Yep. Now come to the same on the outside of the top. Outside top. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, uh, the safest way to do it now is to walk up around them and come around the other side. Okay, so you grab box out inside tug. Pull it back, straighten it up and get the chain link on the inside. And put it into the first notch. This is hard. Um, now, what you need to do is tell Brent, your mother to back Buck up. You back him up? Come up back. Then you've got plenty of room to do it. Don't put your foot back here where you've got it. Okay, now fifth link. Mm -hmm. Three, four, five. Okay. Now you do the back tug. Get your chain. Get your, this is where you need to come behind and put your knee 
your leg right behind there. Just gonna do a warning to anyone at home. You may break in there. All right, Brenda, back them up a little bit. Back up, back up. One, one, two, three, four, five. Turn this. Back them up, Brenda. Oh, get that this way. Oh. If I would have been quicker, I could have had it. There's no reason for you to be there. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay, good. Oh. All right. So now, while your helper is still up front, climb onto the sled and gather up your lines and tell your helper you've got them. Helper? I've got them. Oh. Oh, we, at least we, we think you do. Really. Okay. It's amazing how they sometimes work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am confident that the pole might break. Yikes. So, um, it just broke. Did you see that? Yes. <laughs> okay. So that's our lesson for today. Hold them tight. Hold this. Okay. That was a lot of work for nothing. Nice. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Okay, now this was not planned. This was not staged. This really did happen just the way it happened. And I feel almost embarrassed or bad about it because I knew when I brought this pole up from an earlier video and put it in the sled that it was getting kind of ripe. But I really expected it to last quite a long time. But Buck has a a way of backing up really, really hard. He's a great horse to teach other horses to back up with, but sometimes he just backs up so hard and with a sled that doesn't move, this is what could happen. But uh, fortunately, there was no, no big, it wasn't a big deal. Just unhitch and, and uh, they'll have to do it another day. It doesn't matter if we can't hitch on now. You can walk out now and get the fish stuff. Right, yeah, we can walk out and get the fish We, we can just forget this for now. Let's take them back in and just put them in the barn and. And uh, it's good practice to you. Mm -hmm. Guys up. Can't see if this is on. Well, anyway, <laughs> that's how you hook up horses. I don't want to walk through that. That's how you hook up horses to a to a thing. A scoop. Boot scoop moogie. Um, we just walked over to the cornfield um, from the house and we're getting to um, getting some of the ears of corn for the pigs so that they can munch on them. Yum. They've been eating them and they like to chew them out right off the cob. Do they eat like the husk? No. Oh. So we're just getting a bucket of them, a bucket of corn for them to eat. So we wanted to tell you about um, the clothes that we're wearing and you may have seen them in recent videos as well. We both have, well the whole family has coats and, and pants from this company called um, Revolution Race and Dad's talked about them in the past as well. But um, we really like them. Yeah. <laughs> They're really nice. Um, and we actually have, they, they gave us these clothes and um, they also have a discount for people if they buy them through the link in our description um, and you get 15% off. I think you have to use the code um, 15 with Jim. And um, But it's only for five days. Yes, yeah, so that's what I was going to say. Let me just yeah. double check. So yes, it's valid from today, November 1st until November 5th. So you use the code 15 with Jim and this is all in the description also and you get 15% off. But um, I like them because they're very, they're really, really nice quality. Very really nice, nice quality. quality um, they move with you. They move, yeah. Yes, they're super soft. Mm -hmm. Really, like crazy soft. This 
the colored part, oh, it's like so soft. And I like them because, so me and mom have different styles, um, but we can, we can put that in the description which ones we have. But mine have like bendy parts. All the black stuff is like bendy. And it's like, you can just like, like squat. They're just, they're just very bendy, which is nice. Yeah. I actually wore them in, um, you may have seen in a prior video where I rode the horse Bill. And it was really nice for that because, you know, draft horses are wide, but you know, you can just like really bend with them. So they're very flexible. I liked that about them. And I think they're, they're really nice. They're nice for working or for hiking or any outdoor. They're specifically like outdoor clothes. So lots of neat stuff with them. Yeah, I have different pants. Um, mine are, I think, more durable and maybe heavier duty. I decided, because I'm going to be out a lot this winter, to, to get these. And um, they're pretty waterproof. And that's the other thing about the jackets. They're quite waterproof. And um, I these love feature. I love the pockets because I can put my phone in there and I can actually feel it when it... There are more pockets than There's, you can possibly Oh my imagine. goodness. And there's zippered pockets. Whatever your little heart desires. You got a pocket here, you got a pocket here. There's literally There's pockets. one over here. There's pockets and on the inside. inside, outside. Yeah, they're awesome. Um, and they really also nice. like, so me and mom are short and Trudy's super tall. And you'll see Trudy with hers. They're, they're like Trudy's height pants, but they have Velcro on the bottom and you can't really tell because they're more boots. But they Velcro up, so I was like, Man, how are me and Trudy going to have the same size pants? But they work just fine because they both are on the bottom and so it seems to them up. Yeah. And that's really nice. Yeah. So we're, we're fans. We're fans. So we're getting corn for the little piglets. So I want to show you the piglets. Um, they do love these ears. Um, somebody else has been liking this corn out here. I don't know if it's the birds or the deer, but... I'll yeah, I don't think corn usually grows this way. <laughs> With like all of the outside parts are gone. Yeah. Um, we've got some some livestock helping themselves here. Not livestock, wild stock. Anyways, um, it makes some good pig feed. It goes along with our um, pig starter. I've been feeding them some vegetables and some of that clover hay. They love the clover hay. They're so cute munching on the hay. So they're getting a variety and I think they're growing pretty well. So we'll show you them in a minute. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello, oh, Angers. Hi. Um, so we have here the three little pigs. Um, we have, and since the, the story of the three little pigs is about the house is made of different materials, we've kind of named them that. This is Straw and Jim named him Strawberry. And then the middle one is wood, or woody. Woodsy. 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 And then this is brick over here. Because he's kind of got a straight line and the color of bricks. So that's who we got for pigs. And I have been so enjoying them. It takes me twice as long to feed the pigs as it should because they're so cute and so fun. And um, they're very playful. And they get a lot of enjoyment out of just fooling around. You guys want an ear of corn? And they have to fight and act like pigs. That makes oh. sense. And um, this isn't looking very beautiful right now, this waterer over here. But I did want to show you that. Actually, if you want me, I can just show, take, go in. Um, we got this waterer from, woo, woo, from Will who um, we got the pigs from. She got the idea from... Um, just a few acres. Yeah, just a few acres. He watches that channel with Pete. And it's got a nipple on the bottom here. Pigs. So the water can come out and you can fill it from the top. And we're loving that because usually the pen gets so dirty. And honestly, I put hay in here all the time. And this is a, the pigs play area over here. They root around over here. They sleep over there. I put hay in here every day. That's their potty area over there. And this pigs, is their eating area. Pigs get a bad rap, but they're like the cleanest animals, right? Yeah, if they, they like, if you keep their pen clean, they'll, hi guys, they will stay clean. 
pissed her off. But they do act like pigs when they eat. They fight and they carry on. And they're very naughty sometimes. But they're a lot of fun. Say hi. Well, this evening, Trudy came up. She's going to help me lead the colts around. I haven't done that for quite a while. And so, um, and she's going to stay for supper. So that's a good thing. Got uh, chicken dumplings, I believe, tonight. So that's a real good thing. So anyways, we'll take these guys out. And uh, I think Trudy wants to uh, show off her clothes that she got also. Trudy, you want to show them off? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Is he done drinking? Yeah. Okay. Come right on out. Excuse me. Excuse me. So I have Earl and Trudy has Duke. But go ahead and talk about your clothes, Trudy. Okay, so yeah, I got um, very similar uh, coat and pants to everyone else. I think my pants are more like mom's. They're very durable. I love all the pockets. And everything just does seem to be um, have such good quality. And I love the really softness of the coat and the fact I love the hood. Hey. Um, and they just seem to be very versatile and you could use them for many different activities. Thank you, Revolution Race. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about clothes at all. Let's go lead these colts around. You can tell he likes them because he wears them like every day. I've already done it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what's coming, right? We'll see if they, they haven't been off this, off this porch for quite a few months here. I don't know if they'll walk right up or not. I hope they will. I'm so lucky goes. All of the yeah, you know, food barbecue. tonight. Come on. I'm worried about the cat. Yeah, I did that, Trudy. Wow. Duke hesitated and didn't want to go up, so we chose not to deal with that tonight. We'd, I'd work on them more later. If they start walking fast, like he just did, I just grab his halter and then I'm right beside him. Okay. They really did grow a lot. You think? Yeah. I mean, was it in the spring when we were walking around like this? Yes. That was a lot. There were a lot. Hey. I gotta start doing this on a more regular basis. Trudy, you just gotta have to come up for supper more often. I we know. Take these colts for walks. Bring them right in. Well, thanks for watching Working Horses with Jim. We really appreciate you tuning in and seeing what's going on in our lives. And we hope you have a wonderful day and join us next time. And now I'm going to go and have some chicken dumplings. Me too.